my name is Chris Way, and I'm here today to talk with you with my mom, Rita Way, also sister of Greg Coos. My mother's going to talk to you today about some Irish foods that were popular amongst our family growing up at 502 East Chestnut in Bloomington. She will also talk about her Irish cousins, one of whom came to visit from Ireland. Sundays were the days after church when our Irish cousins, the O'Hara's, would come after Mass and bring cream donuts. William, Veronica, Kathleen, and Lillian. They lived there on the farm in Hudson all their life and were born, raised, worked, and they all eventually passed while still living in their childhood home. We had them every holiday, and once a year, William would take our whole family to Mona's restaurant in Toluca as a payback. Sunday evenings were always a pot roast with potatoes, carrots, onions, and peas. My mom also made the best meatballs. To this day, I still make them. In fact, I had them last night. It's meatballs with mushroom gravy and mashed potatoes and peas again. I like to take the meatballs and gravy and put them over my mashed potatoes. It's kind of like a, a pie. She also liked to make cream chip beef on toast, and she showed me the cream sauce when I was still at home, how she made it. And it was two cups of milk, three teaspoons of butter, and flour until it thickens, and lots of pepper. And she always put the chip beef into the sauce and put it over toast. St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and it brings to mind our family parties and dinners we had all our life starting at 502 and ending up in, in our older years. We always had corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, and lots of good drinks. My mother also tried for a lot of years to contact her cousins in Ireland, and she finally was able to contact a lady who's probably her fourth cousin. Mother and her corresponded for years, and one day she got a letter from her stating that a younger cousin his name was John O'Brien, wanted to come to Illinois to meet our family. Well, he came. There was eight of us in our family, so he would make nine in our dining room table. It seemed like he had a problem passing the potatoes. The potatoes would always sit in front of his plate, and he'd never pass them. And for years after John O'Brien went back to Ireland, the family joke was when someone wouldn't pass something at the table, Dad would say, Pass the potatoes, John O'Brien. 